There is so much support here. They say they're working stronger together. And here at Placer High School, there's about 200 Forest Hill High School students. Some are remote, some are in person. Even Forest Hill High School teachers are here. They all just want to continue the education of these students while they wait and wonder if they even will have a home or their school to go back to once the fire is put out. It could be harder if this number is not a one. High school is tough enough <laughs> without having to worry about a wildfire threatening your town or your high school. The first few days I wasn't really able to focus because um, the fire kept on getting closer and closer to, you know, our town. That was scary. I was really scared. I saw like a couple photos on the news and then I was done. I couldn't watch anymore. I just I, I was scared. These teenagers from Forest Hill High School are trying to adjust to their Placer High School classrooms, not knowing when they'll get to return to their own school. Being here, it gives us a little bit more sense of normalcy than being online like we did in COVID and any other solution. We were really cognizant of how can we make this as normal as possible for them? And it's that fine line between providing an opportunity but not making families that can't access it feel the pressure. It's been weird. Dowling says being in school gives him a distraction to the damage the fires already caused, burning up his father's tree removal business right across the street from his high school. But um, now that the fire's kind of calmed down near Forest Hill, I've been able to kind of focus more on work and less on fire. It's a different setting for Forest Hill Elementary and middle schoolers. I went through every classroom and grabbed the teachers' laptops and grabbed some business stuff and left, and I haven't been able to go back since. The superintendent of Forest Hill Unified School District, which has 450 pre-K to 8th graders, is getting help from Parkside Church. The sanctuary turned into a gymnasium, and there's even classrooms. For now, though, it's not about learning. The point is to is to give them a sense of safety um, and not create the intensity that sometimes happens with you know core instruction, and so they're just safe here. Yeah, they definitely were having a lot of fun there. Uh, that Forest Hill Divide School actually is close to Wharton's Market that we've been showing you on that same side south of Forest Hill Road. And uh, they were getting scared there. Um, she says, luckily, you know, the firefighters had that defensible line put up around the building. So that school was also saved. And coming up at 6, you're going to hear from some of those grade schoolers and how they're handling this disruption in their lives right now. Reporting live in Auburn, Michelle Bandour, KCR. 3 News.